Hi, my name is Anil Jain. I'm the Managing Director for Google Cloud's global media and entertainment business. Uh, it's my distinct pleasure to be with you here today. Thank you all for tuning in to Next21. Uh, today, I'm going to be talking to you about digital transformation in the media and entertainment industry. And a little bit later uh, in this session, I'll be joined by Pierre Luigi Gazzolo, President and Chief Transformation Officer of Univision. So let's get started. By now, none of us are strangers to the drivers of transformation in the media industry. The shift in consumer behavior from conventional viewing to more video consumption taking place through direct-to-consumer, over-the-top streaming, uh, streaming platforms is transforming the entire media value chain. This has been happening for a decade and is therefore not new news, but the speed at which it's happening is. Every media organization in the world has something in common at this moment an imperative to transform, a directive and a necessity to prepare their business for a future that seems to have arrived much faster than anyone expected. Now, some business areas may be contracting, but at the same time, previously nascent platforms are experiencing truly exponential growth. And amidst these unavoidable changes, there is tremendous opportunity for media organizations. So what does this mean for you as leaders of media companies? It's important to understand, first of all, that this transformation we're talking about covers both front office and back office capabilities, from supply chain and product development to marketing and support and customer service. This paradigm shift that every media company is going through means that media organizations must do a number of things differently than before. They have to think differently about their relationships with their audience. They need to better understand their consumers and forge direct one-to-one -one relationships and connections in order to meet the changing expectations and behaviors of their audience. As conventional distribution models get disrupted, media companies and consumers are no longer constrained to the prior formats and types of content. They need to actually expand their definition of what constitutes uh, a media product and what constitutes a content experience uh, that is being presented to consumers. They need to be savvy about new platforms for distribution and new modes of consumption. And as a result, they need to increase their flexibility and agility in, embrace, in embracing multiple different business models from ad supported to subscriptions to transactions and many new emerging business models as well. And they also need to recognize and plan for the rise of new forms of competition. All of this translates to the need for media and entertainment companies to rethink and reimagine the way they do business. And it demonstrates that the media and entertainment industry is ready for a comprehensive digital transformation. Now, increasingly, the time spent on screens with television content has moved towards more and more consumption on streaming platforms, reaching more than 25% of total minutes of TV content watched in some markets. This is a trend that was once primarily for younger audiences, but is now mainstream and covers all demographics. As a response, every major media company in the world has announced or launched a direct-to-consumer platform, and in some cases, more than one. And as far as the consumer response goes, we've seen this play out with a massive rise in online video subscriptions, which have now surpassed over 1 billion. This represents uh, a greater than 26% increase versus just a year ago, and it shows no indications of slowing down. In fact, this number is projected to double to 2 billion or more by 2025. Now at Google Cloud, our mission uh, for media and entertainment is to empower media organizations to transform audience experiences through innovation in content production, distribution, engagement, and monetization. We emphasize this term audience experiences because ultimately this is what the media industry has fundamentally always been about, creating, delivering, and monetizing content experiences with consumer audiences. In fact, if we look back just five years ago, no media leader would have predicted the unprecedented rise of short form social video apps. But now these social video platforms command an increasingly significant percentage of total viewing time from audiences that cannot be ignored. Uh, 
Thus, media companies of all sorts have been forced to factor those platforms into their content creation, distribution, promotion, and monetization plans. And the truth here is that no one could predict with any certainty what the next novel audience experience will be, but we know that it'll come sooner than anyone expects. And while we can't predict what, the, what exactly the next audience experience will be that'll take the world by storm, um, we do know that it's critical for media companies to be agile and flexible and data-driven uh, so that they can respond to new consumer behaviors and deliver new products and formats and monetization models that will enable them to engage and retain their audiences. This is at the heart of what is driving the need for digital transformation. Now, our vision for media and entertainment is backed by solutions that span the entire media and entertainment value chain. They can be understood in the four pillars shown here. Starting with distribution, we're helping our customers deliver content to global audiences, providing compelling viewing experiences that are increasingly personalized while modernizing infrastructure and driving operational efficiencies. This applies to direct-to-consumer, over-the-top streaming, as well as broadcasting in the cloud. Next, media companies recognize the critical importance of forging deep relationships with their audiences. And now we want to help you build those connections with your audiences via data and artificial intelligence and machine learning, enabling personalization and discovery. We want to work with you to integrate new search capabilities and immersive and interactive experiences resulting in more engaged consumers. Third, as you transform your business, we want to leverage our collective Google capabilities and platforms to identify new monetization opportunities and drive continuous improvement in existing channels. And then lastly, for the most challenging area in today's remote working paradigm, producing content to serve the incredible demand that the industry is facing. We can work with you to help increase the velocity of content creation by streamlining pre and post production workflows through virtualization. And we're working with media companies to modernize media archives and asset management, uh, helping them unlock the value of their content libraries and repositories. Now, for all of these solution areas, we're bringing the best of Google and Alphabet together in support of our media customers' needs. At Google Cloud, we work across all of our Google product areas and businesses, such as YouTube, ads, and Android, to name a few, to create greater value for our customers through collaboration, innovation, and product integrations. What this reflects is our keen desire to bring you the best of Google and to accelerate and successfully deliver the digital transformation uh, that you're working towards. And we know that Google is just one of your partners. The media and entertainment industry is heavily reliant on an ecosystem of uh, independent software vendors um, or ISV partners. These ISVs provide key specialized capabilities that enable important content production, management, and distribution capabilities with thousands of dedicated engineering professionals in those companies. We've enabled a large number of these ISVs to run on GCP today, on our, our Google Cloud platform, and we've incorporated them into our go-to-market strategy and our reference architectures for media-focused solutions. Our open ecosystem ethos, our in-house solution capabilities, uh, together with this large ecosystem of ISV partners, enables us to provide a variety of solutions that deliver real business value to our customers. And as we continue to focus on driving media products and solutions, and we continue to execute on transformation partnerships, we're proud to continue to add a wide range of leading global media organizations to our roster of customers, each of whom is actively working to reimagine and reinvent the way they do business today. And one of those customers with whom we've partnered is Univision, uh, a recognized global leader in Spanish language media. We're very honored to be working with them across their business as they drive significant transformation initiatives. It's now my distinct pleasure to welcome Pierre Luigi Gazzolo, President and Chief Transformation Officer for Univision, uh, to join me today for a brief conversation. Pierre Luigi, welcome. I'm so honored that uh, 
you're here spending some time with us uh, to talk about the transformation journey Univision is on. Perhaps before we get started for our viewers, uh, you could take a few minutes and tell us a little bit about yourself, your role, your responsibility, and about Univision. Well, thank you, Anil. Thank you, all of you, for having me here. Um, as, you, as Anil said, I'm president of Univision and chief transformation officer. Under my current responsibilities, I run all the transformation initiatives uh, for Univision in partnership with my boss and the CEO uh, of Univision, Wade Davis. Uh, one of the biggest parts of our transformation, which I am currently managing, is the expansion of our streaming business uh, across the globe in Spanish language content. Uh, I've been in Univision for already nine months. Uh, I come from Viacom CBS, where I, where I worked for 26 years, the last couple of years, leading their streaming business internationally and their studio business internationally. Thank you for having me. Uh, thank you so much uh, for providing that introduction. Let's dive right in, uh, because I'm sure people are eager to, to hear the story. Uh, the Google and Univision announcement that was made earlier this year was a huge multi-year partnership, ultimately focused on transformation, which is, of course, core to your title. Can you share with us, as Chief Transformation Officer, what Univision's ambitions are? Yeah, I would love to. Uh, you know, to start, we, we're very lucky that we're transforming. Our business starting at a very, very good base. Currently, Univision is the largest traditional Spanish language media company in the US. So we, we're, we're really, we, we, we're lucky to have that position as we take on our transformation. Uh, ever since we announced the merge with Televisa earlier in the year and our partnership with Google, we're now much more positioned to hit our ultimate goal our ultimate goal being to become not only the number one Spanish language media company in the US, but now become the largest Spanish language multimedia company in all markets that speak, that speak Spanish across the globe and in all platforms possible across the globe. So our ambition is not only to continue growing our traditional business, because as I said, it is strong and it is growing, but most importantly, expanding it into D2C, into streaming, in both free uh, advertising supported products as well as subscription based uh, products, which, by the way, we already started here in the US uh, with Prende TV, which is the beginning of our free ad supported uh, streaming products. So, super excited uh, with this partnership and lots of work to do with transformation. That's excellent. When we talk about transformation um, across media and entertainment, broadly speaking, it involves a number of different things, right? And can speak to various aspects and elements of the business. Can you talk about you know, the various components when you think about transformation for Univision, how it's taking place, what are the factors that uh, you're wrestling with and you know, opportunities you are addressing in your transformation journey? Of course, uh, well, for us, transformation basically means uh, breaking the mold of a, tradi of, of a traditional uh, television business to, as I said before, evolving our company to be a multi-platform uh, content business, right? And, and we're doing this in many, many, many ways. Uh, the, uh, some examples that I can give you, uh, the first place where we start is with people and culture. Uh, you know, we seldomly speak of transformation as also a cultural and people transformation, and, and we're radically evolving our culture here in, in Univision to be more, more of an entrepreneurship culture, a culture where people can test and learn, where people can take risks and not be afraid to take risks. So that would be, to me, one of the most important, and I would say the basis of the beginning of all of our transformations. Another big transformational initiative that we're currently uh, working on is, is how we're changing completely the way we cater to our advertising clients. We're moving from a traditional ad sales business to what we call advanced advertising solutions, which is basically um, selling data-driven targeting uh, for advertisers. To do this, uh, obviously, we need to become a much more rich data first organization that's another 
uh, very important initiative that we are defining under the transformation office that we are pursuing to become data first. But most importantly, as I said before, and I, I, didn't, I don't mean to repeat it, but it is the most important part of transformation. The biggest and most massive uh, uh, action that we're taking is launching and expanding in streaming to be the largest uh, Spanish language streaming, both in ABOD and SBOD across the globe. And we believe this to be a big opportunity. And the reason why it's the most important transformation opportunity is because it is definitely an underserved market. Uh, you know, there's about 600 million people around the globe that speak Spanish. Spanish is actually second to Mandarin, the second most spoken language in the world to Mandarin. Of those people, only 10% are subscribed uh, to an SBOT service. And even if you were to take you know, the top global SBOT services around the world, less than 5% of what they offer uh, is originally produced in Spanish, which I think is the key word when I say underserved. Most of the streamers uh, offer dubbed Spanish as in its majority. We will be focusing on originally produced in Spanish, and as such, that's why we're seeing Spanish language, we're, we're calling it the last meaningful lane in streaming because we believe there's a huge opportunity there and we're, we're poised uh, to take on that opportunity and, 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 you know, we're poised to do it because of our partnerships, right? As I said before, we, we, we will be merging with Televisa that will give us access to a significant amount of Spanish language content, both on library and in production. They are the largest producers of Spanish content in the world. And in the case of Google, which will give us the backbone, backbone, sorry, in a product, uh, to fulfill a seamless delivery of our content and our services to our customers. So we're very excited uh, to, be, to be partnering with you guys as we transform in this biggest part of our, of our transformation, which is streaming. Wonderful. So it's clear that there is a massive opportunity that lies ahead of Univision. Uh, obviously streaming is the cornerstone of, of driving that transformation. And as I spoke to, you know, with the viewers a little bit earlier in this, uh, in this keynote, we talked about the paradigm shift to direct to consumer, which is really driving change and transformation across all of media. And, you know, Pierre Luigi, thank you. You talked about culture, people, operations, uh, technology, monetization, you know, all of the above that are involved in a comprehensive transformation. So uh, certainly, you know, you, you're embarking on this incredible journey. You, you did talk about um, partnership just at the end of the, the last comment. And I just want to lean into that a little bit with, with you and, and Wade Davis, you know, Univision CEO, uh, and our leadership across Google. Uh, we speak about that word in particular, about our companies working together as partners or in partnership. Um, why is that important to you? And what is your team excited about most in terms of the collaboration with, with us at Google? Well, having Google, having Google come in and become a partner in the midst uh, of our tra transformation, I would say is one of the best things that ever happened to us. And, and I'm not exaggerating when I'm saying that. Uh, aside from the many, many benefits uh, we're going to get when we migrate our existing legacy solutions into what we believe to be a world-class infrastructure that Google brings uh, to the table. Uh, there, are, there are thousands of reasons that, that I could list that I don't think we have time for me to list, but I'll tell you that one of the most exciting ones uh, to us and to me in particular is Google Cloud's artificial intelligence and machine learning capabilities. This is, this is something that we, we've always known Google is king when it comes to this and, and you bring in that expertise and those systems and those products to the table as we look to expand and become the largest Spanish language content B2C company is, as you can imagine, an incredible benefit to us. Uh, we will be able to personalize better. We will be able to target better and, and just an overall experience that, that, the cons that, that will, will assure that we attract uh, customers and that the customers stay with us. So to me, uh, artificial intelligence and ML are the, are the biggest, biggest reasons of my personal excitement and a lot of people that way here. But as I said before, there's many others. I just don't think we have the time. 
optimistic. No, I, I appreciate that very much, Pierluigi, and I think we're very aligned in terms of, you know, the strengths that we want to play to and how we want to help drive transformation. Um, look, I, I really appreciate Shaima. I know I speak for all of Google when I say that uh, we're honored truly to be part of this partnership uh, with you and with Univision. And uh, the future indeed does sound promising and exciting for Univision. And we at Google are grateful to be part of that journey. Thank you very much for your time today and for speaking with me and sh sharing your vision and your insight with all our viewers. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Anil. And thanks everyone for tuning in to this edition of Google Next. Thank you for having me. We're really looking forward to working with uh, all the Googlers that we can work with. Thank you. Thank you all for tuning in to Next 21 and joining us for our media session today. To learn more, please check out these other sessions uh, that pertain to work we're doing in the media industry. Uh, and once again, thank you for tuning in.